Brad just called. Yeah? We sent them a thousand duck pickers. What'd they order? Triple threats. Just send them triple threats? There's like three in the bin back there. Every duck call we make at Duck Commander is made by hand. The calls are made by my brother Jace, my uncle Si, and Goblin. My wife, Corey, she helps me run the entire business. Hey. Is anybody back there? Hello? Yeah, what's up? Where's everybody at? Well, I'm the only one here. You don't even know where everybody's at? Well, Jace is running nets with red. Size with fam. They're busting up beaver dams. OK, look. John, can you come back to my office, please? No wonder we don't have any duck calls. One. Oh. Eight, eight, eight. Unbelievable. This whole company's falling apart. Holy cow. Whoa! 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 I mean, you know, you can't buy these catfish and opelousas in a restaurant. <laughs> Opelousas catfish only run two weeks out of the year. So when they're running, I'm running with them. Look, you can't put a price on being out here in the water catching these big Opelousas catfish. Willie wants us up in the warehouse. I got news for Willie. I won't be there. <laughs> not while this is going on. Besides, Sai's not at the office either. He's clearing beaver dams with Phil up the river. Did you get him? I missed him. Right when you pulled it, his head come up, and then he was gone. If there's anything out there that I don't like, it is the beaver. He is a great dam builder, but he doesn't have a clear thinking on why I'm doing what I'm doing. He just does it 24-7. He never stops, ever. The problem with these beavers, Si, they've killed millions of acres of timber. They like the vet cone. Oh, what are you talking they about? They only move at night. And they live in holes in the ground. And they live in holes in the ground. Yep. The bottom line is the only good beaver is one with a bullet in his head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did you get him? No. Hey, what's up? Why aren't we making duck calls? I've been making them all day. We don't have any. We got three. Why aren't you making triple threats? Well, I thought we was making duck pickers. No, we're supposed to be making triple threats if we have three in the bin, I've told y'all. Well, look, you're yelling at me. I'm the only one here. Family business means the family does the business. And right now, Godwin's the only one working, and he's not even part of the family. Well, we just have to get it done. Uh -huh. Why are you still sitting there? Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. Willie, we've been out killing beavers, me and your uncle. And Jace is loading the boat down with Opelousas cat, big fine blues. Everybody happy, happy, happy. So, Will, what have you been doing? I'm trying to keep this multi-million dollar operation together. I don't think they're paying as much for those beaver pelts anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing that, you know, somebody needs to make money. Willie went off and got educated. He wears suits. I've never bought a suit in my life. He's a suit man now. The life of a CEO, Jace. That's what your brother's into. When you hear CEO, you think chief executive officer. But when I look at Willie, I think if you saw him walking down the road, you would be looking for a can to put a dollar in or a sign saying the end is near. Well, he's too busy all the time. I live by code. If you're too busy to duck hunt or catch fish, you're too busy. Yeah, well, that code is messing up the operations at the office. Jace, he has no stress. He brags about being stress-free. I like to hunt, too. I would like to hunt every day of the year. But we have to run a business. If we don't, we're going to all have to get real jobs, and none of us will get to hunt. See, Will, you're trying to reprioritize your brother there when he's thinking, I need to kill something. I need to catch something. And you're saying, you need to make money. I will have to admit, Willie, to his credit, as far as the business side, he took the whole thing way further than I ever would. Well, I would say, you did well, my boy. Send me a check every month. <laughs> if I only had some ducks to test that out on. There's not a duck within 30 miles of this building. No, it ain't. 
You know what's around here? Concrete. That's what's wrong with the country. Too much concrete. Yep. We need to build a testing and research facility for these duck calls because I want to see the response. We're hurting in research and development. Yeah. Duck call making is all about research and development. Whenever you quit researching, you quit developing. What we need to do is go to the loading dock where it's low. It's up. only a low spot there already. Plug the hole, just add water, add ducks, and we got it. And then you come out with a duck call and you say tested and tried with real duck. Yep. You know, that's like when the Army makes weapons. They have a testing f range, OK, where they actually take the product out and fire it. A true duck hunter, he needs to hear a live duck every once in a while. It does his heart good. Good point, sir. It's as if the loading dock was just reaching out and calling my name, saying, bring me some ducks. Hey, look. I thought that was a piece of trash. That's a turtle. I took this turtle as a sign that this is where the pond needs to go. All right, seal her up. I hope it holds. Oh, yeah. Just needs time. I'm on the threshold of one of the greatest ideas the city of West Monroe has ever known. I mean, it's holding. It's holding pretty good. Hey, Jace. Good. Hey, John. Hey, Linda. What's your boys doing up in here? Well, we're actually building a uh, research pond for ducks in the loading dock. Where are the trucks going to unload? We have it all under control. It's going to get ugly around here. Oh, we'll take care of it. I didn't think about that. Did you? I, it crossed my mind. But I mean, I'm telling you, I'm trying to do something revolutionary here. And she's worried about where the truck's going to pull out now. Huh. <laughs> Boys, we got a bunch of happy ducks in this little old pond. I mean, doesn't it do your heart good to bring this much joy and happiness to some pet store ducks? When I saw those ducks come out of that cage and into the pond, it was one of the most fulfilling moments that I've ever had. Yep, I have to think it'll work, Greg. Oh, it'll work. They're happy. Yep. All we need is some duck calls. That's it. What you think? What do I think? This is stupid. This whole thing is stupid. We thought you'd like it. Think I would like you flooding the loading dock? I figured I could pull in that hatch right there. No, this is the loading dock. We have a real business. We ship real orders. I've been up for like 40 hours. I'm down there making a stupid DVD. And I get back here and I look at this The dumpster's in the water. How are we going to move the garbage? Everybody here is doing nothing. And I can't fire you because you're kin to me. No, uh, Willie, well, he was just having a bad, bad week. You know, the woes of running a business were kind of piled up on him. Got too many irons in the fire. Everybody, get back in there. We're doing our job. We will stay up here all night to get the order finished. Whatever. I got it. Let's go work, boy. Did it even work anyway? Did what work? The stupid bootleg pond out there in the loading dock. We didn't get a chance to see. We were at the finish line, and you pulled up, guns are blazing. Next thing you know, we're back in here. And you can't tell me that somewhere deep down, you're not a little bit curious on whether it would work or not. You want to go find out, little brother? This is pretty cool. It is? I'm pretty sure it was my idea. I think I told you like five years ago I wanted to do this. <laughs> no, it was not. No, I did. <laughs> it Seriously. was not. Like five years ago, I told you this idea. Five years ago? What yeah, are you I said I wanted ducks in the office. You can't remember what happened last year. All of a sudden, you're going to come up with five years. It was your idea. No, I'm telling you. I think that's what put it in your mind. 
They all get the teeth. Right, 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 I mean, right here. Oh, I'll right, set them right in front of you, honey. Well, that's that's good. Good. I got it's one more up. batch, but this ought to hold us for a while. Father, we thank you for another good day on planet Earth. We do thank you for these good fish you blessed us with. Amen. 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 Dig in. Nobody drives us crazy like our own family. They're odd, they push our buttons. They're the source of our biggest frustrations, but also our greatest joy. It's not always gonna run smoothly, and we're not always gonna agree, but in the end, we're a family first and a business second. And that duck pond, that was my idea.